I'm going to go ahead and get started. My name is Brenda. I'm with Rossum Creations and I'm a partner here with TriBest at the uh, Natural Products Expo East, West, excuse me, Natural Products Expo East. I'll be showing you how to make a recipe for banana crepes. In addition to that, I'm going to be demonstrating one of the newest products here at the TriBest family and that's our templates. We are all about making our healthy living easy at TriBest and this is one of the tools that we use to help make the dehydration opportunity for you a little bit easier when you're making wraps, crackers, tortillas, things like that. And there we go. We want to make sure that everything is blended in completely. I'm just going to be pouring this into a bowl and then we'll work with getting it onto our dehydrator trays so we can put it into our oven, which in this case is the Sedona Combo Dehydrator. This is one of the templates, so you can think of it as a mold or a stencil. We'll place it on top of the dehydrator tray. The Sedona comes with these trays that are just inside. This is the largest of the dehydrators that we make. And each tray, you, we place our drying sheet on top of it. And the main reason for that is because my dough is liquid, we don't want it to go through the holes in the bottom of the sheet. So these drying trays come in very, very handy. We're going to place our template right on top and this particular template is two inch squares, excuse me, two inch circles. So I'm going to use about a teaspoon. So we'll put a teaspoon inside each one of the wells. The templates and the design for them actually came about out of a necessity in my own home kitchen at Rossum Creations, but also because I've been a chef instructor for so many years, I would hear my students often moaning about making circles. For, <laughs> I can see you've done it before. When you're making tortillas or something round, and even when you're making something square, like a big sheet, you want to make bars or crackers and things, it is a challenge, especially when you begin, to actually get the template, excuse me, to get the shapes to be exactly the shape you want or to be all uniform thickness. This particular template is an eighth of an inch thick. Most of them are. This is a three inch template. This is the size of the samples you'll be having today. And then we also have six inch tortilla size with two little four inch ones on either side. And then this one is a little bit thicker. Those are all one eighth inch thick. This one is our five inch circle, but it's a quarter inch thick. So this one's perfect for pizza crust and um, our, our individual pizzas. And I will be showing you some of the pizza crust in just a moment because I made them just a couple of days ago. So back to our tray here. We have all a little bit of our dough put in. I'm not gonna spread the whole tray because you get the idea. And then I'm just gonna go through and just spread the dough to fill up the the well. And you can see how easy that is. Just want to get it all the way to the edges. And the question is, are the templates all BPA free? Yes, they are. The tray as well. This tray. Food grade. Okay, so you would complete the whole tray. And you, of course, might want to double or triple this recipe because the Sedona's, this one happens to be the largest of the, the family of dehydrators. And it has several trays. And so doubling and tripling this batch would be something you might want to do. And you can see how easy that is for perfect rounds. I want to do one more for you. I want to show you making uh, an actual larger tortilla. So we're going to put this into the dehydrator. And if any of you watch cooking shows, as if by magic, they're all done. So we'll be placing that in and we would cook it and as if by magic, they come out the other side.